Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the no shot run where we're wasting no bullet by not taking a single shot or any explosive in the matter. So no heavy weapons, no grenades, nothing of the matter. Straight up melee madness. That's how I should have maybe called the run. Hmm. Too late now. It's a no shot run and we're going into Operation Spectral Fog where we're having our second haven assault. There's a lot on the line because we don't want to lose uh, one of our territories. Got a nice little steady flow of 212 income. And that uh, kind of implies that we would want to kind of keep it that way. I'll bring Hogbite. The man just doesn't get any uh, break. I'm sorry, dude. Uh, really, really sorry. Less than a day and he would be completely up and refreshed but yeah i suppose he'll be shaken but what can i do he's just too good um we got templar specialist ranger ranger so are we taking a second specialist or a second specialist hmm, that is an actual difficult question how about we're taking a second specialist sounds like a reasonable idea uh, let's just make sure that Saiken's patented uh, color coding is applied because you can't walk around as a shinobi colored specialist. That's not how it works, mate. We got uh, 10 agility, which I think we're going to give one of our frontliners here. Yes, please, means he has a higher chance to survive. In terms of making things available, we already got uh, our mind shield, which worked fantastic. How about, wait a second, how about we're giving an actual med kit to Maximilian Sonar here because he uh, can use it from afar. Well, it's a fantastic idea. And whilst we're on it, Divot. Takes the med kit as well. We got a battle scanner. So that Sane can do something. And it's not a bad team, I suppose. Okay. The question of the day will be, can we stand up against whatever is going to come? And that'll be interesting. Yeah, I'll keep the supplies for now. We want the armor upgrade to plated armor. I am predicting that we're fighting a lot of kind of uh, more difficult troops, specifically purifiers and uh, lances. So maybe this is going to uh, be more difficult than I expected. It's a weird moment in time to have that mission. Very good. Okay, we already see that there is an encampment here, meaning some of these guys didn't get the memo and they will use actual weapons. But that doesn't mean we're allowed to. It's kind of these weird cases where they could take we uh, use weapons, but we actually can't. It's probably very likely, uh, to be honest, there are going to be enemies in here. But we're keeping all of our Holding. cooldowns for now. And we're hunkering down just like professionals would do. Oh, really? Stand proud. Time to meet the warlock. Return fire against missed shots. Check. Gain health when nearby enemy takes damage. Okay. Well, that is not going to be a problem because we're not going to take shots at him. And takes increased damage from close range attacks such as melee. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. 
Problem is, he'll try to mind control, but I think Hogbite can pretty much one-on-one -on -one him. Alrighty. By the way, if you guys focus on the Elfin Soldier, that would be fantastic. There's absolutely no need to go for the Viper. Alright, that would be a secured kill. That is another kill. Might as well do it. There we go. Four to five points of damage. Well, well, well. Moving up. We're not going to be able to kill this guy. And the problem with Vipers in particular is that their Bind ability, which they get when you're standing right next to them, ignores Parry. Yep, you heard uh, correct. They actually ignore Parry. Good. So the best plan, course of action is probably to move back to here. Let's use an aid protocol. Let's continue with an aid protocol over here. By the way, the warlock is an actual problem for us because the zombies, specifically the spectral rupture, um, can be quite difficult for us to handle. They're going to run into us, and we on the only thing that we really have is melee attacks, which you usually don't want to use against them. So we're clustering up quite a bit. Okay, well, I guess we were not necessarily forced to use See, and that's the problem. He's now here, yeah, going to spectral rupture. If they could actually kill it, I think that that wouldn't be too bad. Well, at least a um, at least combat protocol can finish the job. We're going to get a V trooper down. And let's get some focus. Perfect. Continuing with killing some more of uh, these guys. Moving a bit further away, and I think that we can simply destroy it with a spec uh, with our combat protocol.
All right, so I don't want to go over here because that could trigger. We're instead going to hunker down. And the sector may even start to run. No, it does not. It instead just kills civilians. Yeah, that is the actual fight over there. Wow, that was one shot. Impressive. Got ourselves two out of six. These two here count as well, but they are going to help. Uh, meaning they are continuing to charge in. We're going to get all of the focus that we need. There we go. Very well. And Diva here. Should not trigger anything by moving to here. Still careful. One more turn until we get the new... Oh boy. One more turn until we get new zombies. Surprised that they are all triggered. Very nice. That's what we're talking about. Oh boy, they are focus firing like professionals. Good job. Okay, there's another pack over here. We have at least three more packs to deal with. Okay. Maybe soon only two more packs because boy boy, they they are slaughtering them. Understood, moving out. Fully moving down. We're bypassing these guys here. On the move. Affirmative. Moving up. Sonar is moving up to here. And Hogbite is moving down here. That was a shot into full cover. Good that the guy has taken cover. Not so good that this guy charged out like a madman. And there's another spectral zombie. Ooh, that is a nasty place. If this spectral zombie moves in here, we might lose the mission. Luckily for us, it did not. All right. Big fat reload. Stun lancers are taking some damage. That's good. I like it. He's trying to avenge his friend. Okay, let's 
stay into cover and this should be a kill. There's no spectral rupture as far as I've seen. Very good. Zombie gone. Even better. This should trigger. Not sure if I like the fact that this here is burning. I know that that is going to explode. Okay, let's do a simple trick, which is spotting out the faceless one. Okie dokie. Five to seven is not going to be enough. Fortunately, can't really charge in. Hmm, what's a clever play here? I think for once, moving a tiny bit back would not be uh, an ill-advised move. You can always charge a bit closer. By takes an eight protocol. And moving to here means only the Sun Lancer will be able to hit him. See so you can hunker us down. Only got one more combat protocol. Might not want to immediately use it. I don't think that eight protocol stacks, so that wouldn't be particularly helpful. We're moving up to here just to have more agency. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this here would be exploding. Let's shot into full cover. Lucky him for making it. When they get back to base, we'll have to give our soldiers some time to heal, mentally and physically. What? Through the wall? Oh boy. And I thought I was relatively safe and out of um, out of engagement uh, distance. That was a mistake.
Okay, moving to here. Get back in there. Healing Zirkim. Zirkim is back in action. And we're moving up here. Pretty solid damage. I like it. Remnant heal for Hogbite. Yes, please. Now we need to give him the kills. Hogbite needs to continue um, rising up. So, a tiny bit of damage as a starter. And we're standing in the open because I want the parry to it. Uh, I want to attract the attention of this guy over here. There's the promotion I was looking for. Perfect. Turned out to just work well. Well, apparently we weren't interesting enough. Luckily for us, this guy has not been triggered yet, so they are fighting him. Well, now he has been triggered. Just effed up the mission, dude. You literally just killed all of your friends. Did, did he? Yeah, the only the only one that you did not kill is yourself. Holy shit! Like the level of audacity to 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 just. Um, Explode him in the middle of everyone. Respect. Okay, I think the warlock is still back here somehow. All right, Zirkim moves up. Divat moves up. Got one more gremlin heal. So far, we're fine. Let's just hunker down. Harry, hunger down, hunger down. The elders have chosen me, just as they have chosen you, Commander. We are both destined to serve at their side, to bring their... Well, and a long theatralic intro where he's telling us why we are unworthy and why he is so much better than we are we're going to see about that in a second dude all reports indicate he's nearly as dangerous as they are when it comes to psionic capabilities come humans serve me as your worthy elders
We got a few resistance operatives that are going to help us here. Just need to make sure that we're not losing more than two of them. For starters, as long as we are engaged with him, he cannot summon zombies, so that's perfect. Additionally, as long as we're engaged with him, he will either shoot or try to mind control us, which means everyone else can take a nice little step back and just sit this one out. Mind control? Yep. Guess who is very immune to it? Damn right. It's Hogbite. The guy who is going to teach you manners in a second. Oh boy. I forgot that he can retaliate on missed shots. Very nice, keep it going. Parrying. Hunker down, hunker down, hunker down. And yeah, I know, surprise, we're going to hunker down. What? Oh boy. I can already see that they are going to kill themselves by missing him. Basically effing up this mission. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Don't shoot at him. Or if you do, only do it when you are 100% sure that you're going to hit him. Oh boy. Trying to push him away from the others. Now nah, we can't just charge in. I I know that how that will end. We gotta focus on not losing civilians. Can't eight, can't even eight for call the civilians. Or rescue them. As long as the warlock is there, we can't do anything. Mind control. Double move? Really? This is not looking good. Don't shoot into full cover. Oh boy. Ooh. Everything's on the line. I'm literally trying to stand in front of him. Moving up. We're getting closer just so that I can charge him next turn in case he's still alive. Problem is he's one-shotting every single unit. Mind control. OK, 
Okay, he's far enough away to maybe not provoke any further attack. Ah, no, don't, don't do it. Reload, hunger down, do something. No. Why? Why would you always continue to go? Just let Hogbite handle it. Seriously. Okay, we're not, we're not out of uh, the woods yet. Oh, we're done. Okay. That was just barely successful. So close. And we're back. Got the promotions. Let's see what we got. 18 days wounded and shaken. Okay, let's take a look. Evert here has Blade Master. We can ignore the good old Overwatch. Yes, please. Revival Protocol probably is still very much worth it. I like uh, the hacking attempts as well. It's really one of the cases where we can use all of uh, these. For now, I think we're going to go for Revival Protocol, simply because it is better. And Hogbite, Blade Storm. Wonderful. Take that. No question. And uh, no questions asked. Mm, the legend. Very good. Uh, focus leveled up to three is good. Reflect is good as well. Yeah, we're taking focus level up to three. Yes, please. Oh, Blade Storm. This run has just become interesting. Got mobility, got an auto loader, and we got some more supplies. Unfortunately, Hogbite now is also cautious. What does that even mean? Hunker down in a defensive posture after first move action. Well, that is not good. Overly aggressive. Immediately taking a shot after going on to Overwatch. Both of them are actually quite bad. Could take a slight speed increase, I suppose. It's already fast with more speed he's even gonna be faster so let's do that and yeah next up next up we need to heal matter of fact grenade and ammunition is nothing that we need i would say we're going for some of supplies and then essentially we're going to heal okay perfect welcome to the proving ground commander it seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more experimental concepts especially when it comes to weapons development Good. Just muted my microphone for too much background noise. Uh, let's take a look. So we can't use grenades. We can't really use heavy weapons, but we certainly can use the skull jack. 75 supplies. I would wait with it, to be honest. Might look counterintuitive. But we need to clean the debris first. Let's finish the supplies. Okay, 
And let's finish uh, this. Good. Wonderful. We are now going to heal simply because we need Hogbite back and the other guys are also pretty injured. We have a solid position, but the injuries are making our uh, our game uh, much more difficult. Quick Feet is just ready. That's the last of the Rangers that we needed. Perfect. Outfitted him properly. And let's continue to see what the next mission would be. Wonderful. Plated armor is exactly what we were looking for. Predator armor will help us. The Tempest gauntlets are fantastic as an upgrade. And with inspired experimental weapons, I'm almost tempted to do it, but I mentioned beforehand that we're going for the Stun Lance Autopsy, and then we're rushing Psionics next. The advent. In terms of engineering, let's see how much more this would cost. So we require more alloys, which we currently simply don't have. Weapon upgrades require also more alloys. That's unfortunate. We don't have the intel to buy it, so we gotta wait until the next um, supply run. Avatar progress is moderate. We were pretty successful. Unfortunately, we're seeing that we now have two Chosens, meaning they're also going to uh, be pretty mean in terms of uh, holding us down. I'm not sure why we're getting Barry and Undying Loyalty yet again. Uh, those two are incredibly harsh. We just, we just prevented them from happening and yet they're back. Uh, we definitely need to get Barrier countered. Undying Loyalty sucks, but Barrier is even worse. Gotta keep the Avenger power for now, so can't really change anything. And in terms of locating this faction here, I would say we're going to go for it. Mobility is a nice um, side effect and let's use Renman here yeah that that could give us uh, the skirmisher and the final faction we're okay with supplies we're definitely lacking in the other departments so for now we're continuing to heal and wait for the next mission Maybe we can get an upgrade we have made a with the Sun Lancer out of C now. Improved pistols does not offer us anything. Let's go for psionics, as I mentioned before. And in terms of weapon upgrades, yeah, 15 alloys. This here would be really helpful, but we need a lot of alien alloys in. With the amount of intel that we do have, that's just not going to work out. Let's take a look how how long Hogbite would be away. Two more days. Yeah, and Roby is also nearly back. Let's continue the healing scan. That's super helpful. Got another facility down here can't really reach it uh, we would need to go via Europe and kind of do an, a 360 around here Okba just recovered from his wounds there we go we're back in action that's one two three four five yeah we got a full team going wonderful 
we can upgrade squad size 2, which is exactly what we're going to do. So now we have a team of six soldiers, theoretically, and all of the other money should now directly float into upgrades of our equipment. Because we're in month number three, and that means, theoretically, mutants uh, could almost pop up. We got a scientist here. Yeah, we're probably going to do this. Barrier and the scientist is fantastic for us. Protect the device is probably what we're not going to do. And here's Undying Loyalty. The 101 Intel are very, very tempting, but I would rather like to go uh, to counter Barrier. It will be the better choice in the long run. We need to be able to hack and mind control. And if the defense is doubled, it will just reduce the chances of um, getting any of uh, these methods applied. I think we're okay for now. It's going reasonably well. Um, so next up, we need to do the operations and then we're going to play it by ear. Hopefully soon we're going to find a way to get alloys. Anyways, if you enjoyed the content, guys, please leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.